Hi, I'm Tyler, your online dating expert, and today we're going to be talking about the top five best one night stand dating sites. I've must have gone through about 20 different websites and I've narrowed it down to the top five for you. I'm also going to throw in a bonus two options that are completely free to use. One thing that's for sure throughout all of these websites is that your success is based on how good your profile is set up. Luckily, Online for Love has some great online dating guides for you to check out in the description down below, including how to make a great profile for both men and women. I do want to mention real quick as well that this video is based off of an article which you can find in Online for Love as well as in our description down below. The reason I'm saying this is because any statistics I might mention, like the prices or the demographics or anything like that, are only true at the time of me recording this video. But on the article version, it's constantly updated all the time. So if you want the most up-to-date information, click on the link in the description down below. Let's start with the first one on our list, which is BeNaughty.com. They have a significantly large user base, and of that user base, the female to male ratio is pretty even, with 52% of the users being female and 48% of the users being male. BeNaughty.com has a website for the desktop applications, but it also has an app for Android users as well. Unfortunately, there is no current app available for iOS users. However, I did use the mobile version of the website on my iPhone and it works very smoothly and everything looks clean and neat and I actually really do like using it on my phone even though I am using my web browser to do so. You're going to find a range of people on this website including people who are in open relationships or open marriages, people who are looking to specifically just have cyber sex or fulfill their particular kinks or niches or fetishes that they are looking for. Overall though, all of these people are are simply looking for something casual, which is something that is pretty common throughout the entire website. Another good thing about BeNaughty.com is that they take spamming and scammers and the general safety of its users very seriously. They actually have a way for you to verify your account by calling a hotline and confirming some questions and showing your image in order to confirm that you are who you say you are. You can then go into your search filters and search specifically for only verified users so that you know you're not really going to be interacting with any bots or scammers or anything like that. The website will also tell you if it thinks that you're interacting with a bot or a scammer by flagging certain conversations. Like other online dating websites, there is a price in order to message other people. For females, it's completely free to sign up, but for men, they have to pay a price. In order for you to get a full experience on this website as a male, you really do need to get a subscription. Otherwise, you won't be able to respond to any messages you receive from the female end. I do recommend as well that you don't purchase a subscription right away when they do prompt you. And if you do let them prompt you a few times, they do end up lowering the price price down to 40%, which is what I was able to get it to. The cheapest options that I was able to find was $0.99 cents for one day, $5.99 for a week, $24.99 for a month, or $40.99 for three months. So we're going to move on to number two on my list, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you to hit like if you like the video and to hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more dating tips from Online for Love. So number two on the list is AdultFriendFinder.com, and this website is notoriously known for casual dating and specifically for swingers. Adult Friend Finder also boasts 25 million monthly visits onto its website, which is almost double the amount of BeNaughty.com. Adult Friend Finder is really popular in the United States, Canada, and the UK, making its primary language English. And as far as the user base goes from the female to male ratio, females are really in the priority here because there are 65% male users and only 35% female users. So it's really a great place for a single woman looking to choose from a pool of men. For men, I would suggest checking out Online for Love's dating guides and how to make a great dating profile for yourself in order to up your chances on a website like this one. Adult Friend Finder tries to find other profiles that are really similar to yours and tries to match your likes, dislikes, kinks, or any fetishes that you have with other users who have the same. Overall, Adult Friend Finder has some great, well-developed features, and they're also your typical features that you would find on any other dating site, like being able to search particular features of the person that you're looking for, or being able to send messages back and forth between different users, stuff like that. The sign-up process is very quick, and it only takes about 30 seconds to sign up, which is good if you are looking for a speedy sign-up. There are a ton of optional little quizzes and questionnaires that you can answer to make your profile look more complete, though, and that will take some time. If you do choose to do that, they are optional. Optional. So there are two different types of costs when it comes to membership on adultfriendfinder.com. The first cost we're going to talk about is the gold membership. Now what this gold membership does is it allows you to be able to message other users freely and it also allows you to be able to see the full extended profiles of other users. The gold membership costs $34.95 for one month, $59.85 for three months, or $179.40 for 12 months. The second cost that comes with membership on Adult Friend Finder is the option to have a standard contact 
which means that you can have users who are free members who aren't paying any membership at all be able to message you even though they didn't pay for a membership. This additional feature can cost you $24.95 for one month, $35.85 for three months, or $107.40 for 12 months. The next one on our list is the notorious affair website, AshleyMadison.com. You can be rest assured that nobody is using this website to look for a serious relationship, and you'd be surprised at how quick you can get a one night stand from Ashley Madison. The typical age range of the users on Ashley Madison are between 30 and 45 years old, and most of the users are married, although not all of them are. With Ashley Madison, you'll have plenty of people to choose through as they have 11.25 million monthly visits. Both men and women can join AshleyMadison.com completely free to see their matches and potential likes. But if you want to message people and you are a male, you do unfortunately need to buy credits, similar to how Be Naughty works. Unlike Be Naughty, where it's a subscription-based membership, Ashley Madison requires you to buy coins, and then you can spend those coins depending on who you actually want to interact and talk to. Before we talk about the cost of those coins, though, I'd like to talk about the layout and the design of the website. And it is just super sleek and super simple, and I love the way that it's set up. The website does also have an app that is available for iOS and Android, but what's really cool about the app is it's super discreet. So you can actually change the logo of your app and you can change what the notifications say specifically on that app so that you can be as discreet as possible. Something that I really don't like about Ashley Madison though is there's no matching algorithm. You kind of are just dumped into this sea of people to search for that are close to you in your area. They do of course have some search filters that you can utilize but there's nothing that ha helps compatibility at all. Like I said earlier to be able to utilize Ashley Madison's website it's not really a subscription it's more of a token purchase that you need to do. You can use these tokens or coins in order to start conversations with other users or continue conversations with other users if you are a male. If you're a female, you do not need to purchase any of these coins. I do suggest if you're going to purchase these coins, however, that you do it on the desktop website rather than your app because they are more expensive on the app for some reason. The cheapest prices that I could find, which were on the desktop website, were $44 for 100 credits, which is about 44 cents per credit. You could get 500 credits for $134 or 27 cents per credit. And the most expensive package, but the best deal package, was 1,000 credits for $224, which is approximately 22 cents per credit. So this brings us to number four on our list, which is Match.com. I'm sure that many of you are surprised to see Match.com show up on this website as it's not typically known for quick flings or hookups but there is such a large abundance of users that you can easily find people who are into that kind of thing and are looking for that kind of thing. The best thing you can do for yourself when you are making your profile on Match.com is to signal exactly what you're looking for, and Match's matchmaking algorithm will help match you with other like-minded individuals. You can also utilize Match's search and filter features, which will help you narrow down the type of person that you're looking for. That, in combination with a humongous user base, really makes this a great website for finding one-night stands. Maybe you're looking for a cougar to date or maybe you're looking for somebody who's into particular fetishes, you can really find all of those people and more on Match.com. So as far as the memberships go on Match.com, there's two different types. There's a standard and the premium. With the standard, you can do a lot of things like add different types of filters and be able to message people as much as you want. And the premium actually adds some really cool benefits, one of which is being able to be contacted by an online dating expert to get your profile reviewed and improved to make better matches in the future. If you're looking to purchase their standard plan, you can get three months for $21.99 per month, you can get six months for $18.99 per month, or you could get 12 months for $17.99 per month. If you are looking to get the premium membership instead, you can get three months of premium for $24.99 a month, six months of premium for $21.99 per month, or 12 months of premium at $18.99 per month. Luckily, we here at Online for Love have you hooked up as well, and we actually have a 25% off discount in the description below for Match.com. So number five on my list is Tinder, and Tinder is on this list for the same reason that Match.com is, is that there's an abundance of users on the website, and so you're more than likely to find the type of person that you are looking for. The website has over 50 million monthly users and boasts a whole 26 million daily matches. The average age on Tinder is between 18 to their late 20s, so the average age is pretty low. Unfortunately, the split between the male and female ratio is pretty unfavorable for males. For every one one female on the site, there are four males on the site. While there aren't many search feature capabilities like there are on Match.com, 
Tinder.com is notoriously known for being a hookup site, so you're going to find plenty of people on the website who are going to be looking for one night stands. The biggest thing that stands out to me with Tinder is how compatible it is with mobile users. And they really do prioritize being able to give out a great mobile experience, which means that people are going to be using this app on the go and more matches are gonna be made more often. Tinder does also host some features that can help you to be able to pull a hookup off if you do decide to become a member. One of those features includes you being able to view all of the people who liked you even if you didn't match with them yet. You can sign up for free on Tinder and use the app just fine, but if you do wanna get a premium membership, there are two options. There is the Tinder Plus option and the Tinder Gold option, both of which really help you utilize the features that the app offers and really ups your chances of having a great one night stand. The cost of Tinder is pretty complicated as they do differentiate the prices depending on your age. So if you're 30 or older, it's actually going to cost you a little bit more to use Tinder than if you're 29 or younger. In case you are under 30 and you would like to try your luck with Tinder Plus, the cost for one month would be $4.99 for one month, $17.99 for six months, or $27.99 for 12 months. And then of course there are higher prices for those who are over 30 and that would cost them for one month $17.99, six months would cost them $67.50, and one year would cost them $90. For those who are looking to purchase Tinder Gold and they are under 30 years old, for one month it will cost them $14.99, for six months it will cost them $52.99, and for one year it will cost them $82.99. And for members who are over 30 years old and they're looking to get Tinder Gold, it will cost them $26.99 for one month, $101.52 for six months, or $100. $135 for one year. So those are my top five one night stands dating sites where I really believe that you should pay for a membership in order to utilize their features in order to find yourself some great success. So here are two bonus websites which you can use for free which I find are great websites for finding one night stands without breaking the bank. The first of these websites is plentyoffish.com and plentyoffish.com is a great website for you to explore with an abundance of users even though there are plenty of bots and scammers on the website. It is one of the very few dating websites that you can get for free and be able to message between users freely. This really is a great feature to have for blowing your fish and you don't really need the other features to have great success. I do really recommend though the first five websites I mentioned if you are looking to get more successful matches and more results in actually having a one night stand. Plenty of Fish does offer a paid membership as well where you can utilize special features in order to help narrow down your choices in finding the right person that you wanna have a one night stand with. The second free website that I would recommend to use for one night stands is OkCupid. As I'm sure you've caught onto this trend, having a humongous user base is just a plus for any dating website because it gives you an abundance of options to choose from. But OkCupid has some great prominent features that some of the other websites just don't utilize, like being able to say that you are specifically looking for one night stands or hookups and to say that if you're in an open relationship or not and to be able to attach that to your profile. And just like any other dating website, they are trying to make money so you can get a membership as well and you do get extra additional features like being able to see who likes you even if you didn't like them yet, as well as being able to get your profile boosted in order to make more potential matches. And that concludes my top five list of the best dating websites if you are looking for a one night stand. And I do really highly recommend BeNaughty.com. That one seems to have the most attractive users and the most users who are really looking to actually meet up and have that one night stand with you. Adult Friend Finder is another great website to try and explore too if Be Naughty is not really your thing. And Match.com and Tinder are really great websites regardless of if you're looking for one night stands or not. So the niches aren't really so narrowed down in those websites like they are in Adult Friend Finder and Be Naughty.com. Have you guys used any of these websites? Are there any best one night stand websites that I missed? Let me know in the comments down below what your experiences were like and maybe we can share some great stories. That being said, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and if you loved it, hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more online dating tips from Online for Love.